Aloha friends, I'm here with another video. Um, this time it's the Eat With Me. I like this kind of video of um, just chatting with you guys. So I, I did the Eat With Me last, I did it last week, last Thursday. Well, it's Saturday, last week Thursday. I have another Subway. And the last time I had the Subway was with you guys and I love my Subway. Okay, so how are you? How was your week? busy with work or change of weather i somebody um one of my youtube friends here said that it was um it was snowing over um a couple days ago over in it was it indianapolis or illinois illinois <laughs> so i hope the weather is is good it's spring it's spring is everywhere we went to um university of washington last weekend for easter and saw the cherry blossom so that was so fun and i we, we got to see it with the whole family okay so today's sub of the day today is saturday it's black forest ham subway so um i had hubby pick it up uh, on his way home and i got i got mayo easy mayo lots of mustard but i got tomato and then i spinach and lettuce he put jalapeno and then um, cucumbers, and then I said, just give me the works of the veggies, um, but easy on the mayo. And then he he likes to put the salt and pepper at the end. But oh, my water! Yay! I brought my water. Okay, friends. And then I have warm water in here. This is like my third or fourth one of this tumbler for the day. I like to um, put my water in here because then I can physically see like, okay, well I went through one and a half kind of thing. So I like to at least go through two of these and I don't even know the size of this tumbler. I haven't been drinking any juice um, throughout this, this 30 day challenge journey. It's just water and my coffee. I can't, and I cannot drink black coffee because mama likes it sweet i like it sweet i love me some sweet coffee but this time i just put coconut milk and i do pot uh, i do put like a little bit of like half a teaspoon of raw sugar and then just coconut milk and then i'm good with that you know before i used to put like the creamer so much creamer and then the half and half and then sometimes i'll put in like a pump like a pump of my um I use those pumps, the same pumps that they use over at Starbucks. But let's eat together. Mmm. I love Subway. I brought extra napkins today. But I want to tell you guys how I've been doing with this. With this journey. I'm loving it. Um, I'm so glad that... I took this challenge because I have been so active in the past two weeks. So I started my third week, I think yesterday. Oh, he put onions in this too. <laughs> Am I burping up that onion? But mm, that was that was some good raw onion. It's a little bit of spice to it. I have been most, um, I don't know how to say this. In the past two years, I have been the most active within these past two weeks. Oh, and then also, not just active, but also self-aware, conscious of what I've been eating. Um, because even though I was walking before or would stop by the gym or whatever, I wasn't conscious of what I was eating. I would still eat and I wouldn't know what I was eating. i just eat because sometimes we just eat. We don't realize that, whoa, we, well, where did that whole bag of chips go? You ate it and you didn't even realize it. So now instead of going through a bag of chips, like if I'm packing, um, I bought that big bag of Doritos for the girls, for the kids and for hubby. Jonathan doesn't like the Doritos. Oh, ah, well, he does. I haven't been seeing him eat it, eat it lately, but during the first couple of days i would pick a couple a couple and then i put it on a napkin and then i'd leave it there but i'm aware that okay well i have five chips kind of thing i wasn't um self-indulging anymore that is where i got to where i am was because 
I'd be so easy going. I'm not saying it's his fault, but I just have a very supportive husband. Mm. Who's a hard, hard on me about, hey, lose your baby fat. You know, the baby's like two months now. You need to start getting some exercise. He never. All these years I've been with hubby. He's never, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to make him negative, and I'm not trying to make him positive either. I'm not trying to say that he's the cause of, of where I am, of where I am, or, or it's because of him kind of thing. It's just, I, I live, I, I have a, a very loving relationship uh, with my partner. Hmm. Oh God, so he never pushes me to be who I'm not currently am. I don't know if that makes sense. He always encourages me to be a better person. Like if I say, hubby, I will go back into real estate. So go for it, you know, what can I do to support you? He supports me in anything and everything I do. That's how loving he is. But what I was doing also was like eating and, you know, I'd eat along with him because he's a guy. He can go for, you know, go for a big, big Mac and nothing will face him, right? I'm a girl. But he won't say, or he never said, oh, you shouldn't have that or you shouldn't do this or you, sh you, you should, you, you should not eat that cheesecake. No. No, he was never that way. He isn't that way. So I did this to myself because I wasn't self-aware. But hmm. now I am, and I want to say I lost three point eight pounds since I started, and it may not be a lot, which it is. It's not a lot, but. It's, it's enough for me currently to give me one, even though it's 3.8 pounds, to give me encouragement, hey, encouragement to say, hey, keep it up. You're doing a good job. And I, my suggestion to you guys, if, that, if you're doing this journey, don't weigh yourself. Do not weigh yourself the first week, and I did, because I have no self-discipline, apparently. That's why I'm here. Um. Mmm. The taste of that mustard, but I was so bummed when I weighed myself the first after the first week because I didn't lose anything. It was still the same, and I'm like, how can I not have lost anything? Sorry, I'm using my phone. My camcorder is not plugged, or not the battery's dead. But mm, try not to weigh. Do not weigh yourself every day. Don't do it i know you want to do it but don't do it so i weigh myself i should not have weighed myself the first week but like i said i'm like oh i'm just gonna try i'm like oh no and then i was so disappointed i'm like oh and that's when you want to quit right and this is where i failed before it's like i did so many things right you know i went to the gym and i worked out and i ran and i ran and i'm not eating all these chocolates and i'm being more consciously aware of what i'm eating some was not super healthy, but I didn't super indulge. I didn't have a tub of ice cream or a bag of chips in front of me. Yes, I might have had a Cadbury egg, two here, three maybe, or five or six or seven chips. I don't know, but I, I physically knew how much. And I was active. How can I not be losing all this weight? That's, that was my first thing. But then I said, okay, nope, don't do it. Don't fall for it. So I kept, I just kept doing it. And then I weighed myself, um, was it Friday or Thursday? I think Thursday. And I said, I said, please don't fail me. Please, talking to the, the scale, please don't do this to me. And then it said, 
3.8 pounds under. I'm like, phew. I did say that too. I'm like, because if it, if it had showed that I wasn't lo losing weight, because it wasn't really about the pounds, it was the fact that please show me that I'm progressing. So it's not about losing one pound, ten, five pounds, or 10 pounds. I'd be so happy with 10 pounds, but let's just face it, you know, that's not real. If you lose 10 pounds in like two weeks, um, that's not healthy. Um, I said, okay, wow. It, it like, like, thank you, you know, because then I'm like, okay, now I can still do this. I have the motivation in my head that it's working. So I just need to stay active and that's all I'm doing. I'm not exercising. Like I'm not, I haven't tried the P90X, which I do have it because I've been dieting forever. Like, right. I have 21 day fix video P90X. Um, I have the hot yoga, I think though, those, those failed for me. What I think is working now is me being aware. Oh. Do the mustard just drip? Mm -mm. That's a waste. Mm. So, and hubby runs with me. That's how he supports me. Um, cousin, you guys saw cousin Brian, he ran with me. My kids are willing to run with me, you know. So it's good to have a good support system. But, mm. but I have four kids. So I'm always surrounded by temptation. Because, plus, just because I'm struggling with my, my weight, that doesn't mean that I'm going to force the kids to eat salad, grilled chicken, you know. We have, we're a family of, we're structured. We have, we have balance in our family. I do allow treats, but they got to show me that they're consuming good food. I do go to Trader Joe's and I buy processed food or Costco, but I do make homemade foods too that I don't always show you guys. Mmm. Okay, for you guys that are joining with me, how are you guys doing? You guys have been so supportive as well, not just my family, you guys. Because I put this vlog out there, and to me, honestly, I'm not on YouTube to get numbers or anything. I'm on YouTube, one, to get away from the mindset of my chaos family. I'm like, okay, this is, you know, this is my alone time. Let me share because I love to share. But also, now that I'm vlogging my um, my 30-day journey, you guys hold me accountable. Not my family. My family doesn't hold me accountable. You do. So thank you. Really, you do. By me having, like, there's sometimes, like, I don't want to post it, but I do. I'm like, oh, I look so ugly running. I don't want to post it, but I do. And then there's some like, oh, I just, I just want a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh. Grilled cheese sandwich with a tomato soup. I just want that. My family's not around. I don't, you know, I don't have to turn on the camera and show my friends on YouTube, but no matter what, at the end of the week or at the end of the 30 days, I'm, I have to let you guys know and you have to see it on my face, kind of, um, she said she lost 50 pounds. Um, nah, -uh. no, I don't think she did. Lots of mustard. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'll take a picture of that. Hold on, okay? Mm. Sorry. Otherwise, I won't have a thumbnail picture. But I'm doing so good. And it's because of you guys. A lot of it is because I would say 80% is because of you guys. Why? Because I have to show you my videos. Oh, Danielle. Danielle. 
Sorry, my yelling. Cover your ears. Danielle! Can you give me Nana's basket of goodies today? All of the goodies? This is, I'm gonna show you guys for real, the temptation I live with. You know hubby, do you know all the foods that he's been getting? You know like he likes to go to happy hour. He wants to go on our date. This, I'm surrounded by temptation of food. I have four kids. And then we have such loving families. Look what came in the mail today. This is from Nana. Thank you, Nana. I love it. I love the fact that she sent this because it's for the kids, right? You know, she sent so much, you know, goodies and the kids don't indulge. You know, they'll have this as a treat kind of thing. You know, but look at this. All Easter goodies and there's like chocolates in there. Have I had one? No. I, I God, honest truth. Put my hand on a holy Bible kind of thing. No, I have not. Why? Because in the past two weeks, I have taught myself self-awareness and apple cider vinegar is really working. I'm going to do a whole different video on apple cider vinegar. I have loved apple cider vinegar. Sorry. That's like a toner for your face for so long. It was like one of my very first videos. Hmm. But I want to say that I'm doing so good this time, and I'm, I thought, uh, sorry, I thought that it was because of how I've been doing it, of like, okay, I didn't make it about food, I'm teaching myself more self-consciousness, self-awareness kind of thing, be more um, mindful of what I'm consuming, but, oh wait, I got, sorry, I got something on my teeth, a bread. But I think, honestly, it's the apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar is just like Hubby said. It's just he's not so hungry anymore. And I'm not so hungry anymore. I've been wanting to do this with you guys of the Subway since Thursday. Today's Saturday because I haven't been really craving my Subway. Apple cider vinegar is suppressing my appetite. Because something is. And I'm not taking any pill. Um, I take my biotin, mm, my woman's daily vitamin kind of thing that I got at Costco, and I think that's it. That's it. That's all. Just vitamins. Oh, oh, my vitamin D, not biotin, vitamin D and my, um, my regular woman's vitamin. That's it. That's all I'm taking. Um, almost daily. Mm. I love Subway. Mm. It's so simple ingredient, but it doesn't taste the same when I can I can I have all the great ingredients at home, but it doesn't taste the same. Mmm. So good. I really think it's apple cider vinegar. It's really, um, ooh, there. It's suppressing my appetite. I've been taking it, instead of chugging it just once every morning now, for the past couple of days, I've been doing about a teaspoon in the morning. First thing in the morning when I wake up, hot water, always hot water, and then I chug it down. Or I chug down the apple cider vinegar into my little white shot glass and then I chase it with hot water okay and then I'll have it again before I'm before I have my meal so if I know like if if I know I'm about to eat I'm like okay I'll have apple cider cider vinegar sometimes I'll even have it after or during so for dinner tonight I took another shot of apple cider vinegar just a teaspoon and that was like maybe 30 40 minutes ago and then I I drank some hot water and then I'm eating dinner. So I'm using, I'm doing it three times a day, and then I am chugging it because I don't want, I don't want to mix it into my water. But you can mix it into anything. You can make salad dressings with your apple cider vinegar. Um, sorry, I'm so messy. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm almost done with my sandwich. But no chips, no, 
This is good for me, just the one sandwich. Oh. I bit my lip. I love me some bread too. Mm mm mm. But that's it. I'm done with my sandwich. Um, like I said, I'm progressing. It's only four pounds, but I feel that if I keep it up and just stay active, apple cider vinegar is really helping me. I really believe that. But like I was telling you guys, you can put it any with anything. You can use it because you you use balsamic vinegar anyways for your salad dressing, right? And I think that's the thing too is that as women, we love to eat our salads but we we put so much fattening dressings onto it you know because i know i do not everybody does but i do so now instead of doing that I, I buy a vinaigrette but instead of using the vinaigrette use apple cider vinegar or add on apple cider vinegar into your already bought vinaigrette okay so you don't have to worry about the recipes kind of thing i would all right um you can add um apple cider vinegars into your drink into your um you know, um, if you use a, if you have a blender, I have a Vitamix, so I during the spring or summer, I'd love to blend up. I haven't done it yet because I've just been using shots, but I could do with, with berries when I blend up my strawberries or blueberries or whatever or um, nuts. Um, hmm. Yeah, just add it on to whatever drinks or whatever salads or add it on to your meal just find some way to be able to add apple cider vinegar into um into your meals if you can't take the shot i don't mind taking the shot i mean it, it bothers me a little bit but just for a split second and then i'm good um also oh my my breakfast go-to is my oatmeal and i use the steel oats from trader joe's i do about three tablespoons Three tablespoons is like plenty. I'm like actually super full, but I'll cook in the microwave for three to four minutes, uh, one minute increments, and with just water. Um, I like my oatmeal runny. I don't like it thick, um, just thick. So then once it comes out, I'll add my almond milk in there just to make it more um, more runny. And, and then I'll put on a heaping teaspoon of my nut butter, whether it's the chia, nut butter or just the nut butter from Trader Joe's it is amazing because one I also do the shot of apple cider vinegar plus that heavy meal it, I can last I can eat it at 9 30 not have a snack all the way up to 1 30 or 2 o'clock so I'm practically really skipping lunch so I don't really I don't really have to sit down and be like okay this program says I should have this and I should have that. I'm, I'm not that kind of a person to follow like an eating program. I can't follow an eating program for the life of me. Just as much as I can't follow a recipe kind of thing. Like I just wing it. I just add a little bit of this, a little bit of that kind of thing. Um, I, I'm not disciplined enough to be able to, to follow. But um, I know that the oatmeal really works for me for breakfast, so I stay with that. A um, couple times this week, I did uh, avocado with um, toast and then the egg. And to be honest with you, it was good. It was very good. I didn't like how I felt afterwards, though, to be completely honest. When I eat my oatmeal, I'm all good. With that, it was like there's that, th there's these there's this thing about me that the taste of egg i don't really care for so um that's my that's my go-to now is my my oatmeal so oatmeal apple cider vinegar working out not really working out just being active because i don't you guys have barely seen me at the gym but i do walk around i do jog around around my neighborhood um whenever i have a free time so i think that's the thing that's you know that you just have to be aware is that be active wh whether it's at your home and doing these um dvds things or on demand things uh just just get your heart pumping you know just just be active just be, just move your body okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this you know eat with me my meal is done so basically my video should be done too i'm just gonna chug my warm water and then um, I'll see you guys on the vlog. Okay, thank you guys for helping me. I truly appreciate it. Have yourself an amazing weekend. Mahalo.